Tell me what does it look like in heaven? Is it peaceful? Is it free like they say? Does the sun shine bright forever? Have your fears and your pain gone away? Cause here on earth it feels like everything good is the same since you left. trust in Christ who by dying on the cross has freed us all from eternal death and by rising he has opened for all of us the gates of heaven and so let us pray for our brother Patrick Flurry that he may share in Christ's victory let us also pray for ourselves that the Lord the Creator may grant us the gift of his loving consolation and comfort. Let us pray, O God, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your servant, Patrick Flory, whom you have called a journey to you. And since he believed and hoped in you, grant that he may be led to our true homeland to delight in its everlasting joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We take the first reading from St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with the hands, eternal in the heavens. So we are always confident, even though we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord, for we walk by faith and not by sight. So whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to please him. For all of us must appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each may receive recompense for what he or she has done in the body, whether good or evil. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, your response is, the Lord is merciful and gracious. The Lord is merciful and gracious. The Lord is merciful and gracious slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He does not deal with us according to our sins, 
nor repay us according to our iniquities. The Lord is merciful and gracious. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. For he knows how we were made. He remembers that we are dust. The Lord is merciful and gracious. As for mortals, their days are like grass. They flourish like a flower in the field, for the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and its place knows it no more. The Lord is merciful and gracious. The steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. The Lord is merciful and gracious. We take the gospel reading according to Matthew. Jesus spoke to his disciples, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carry heavy burdens. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and I will give you a rest for your souls. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as I said at the beginning, we are all here to celebrate the life of uh, our brother Patrick Flory. I was able to meet with the families two days back to know a little bit more about Patrick so that I can also join you celebrating his life. And as I came here, waiting 40 minutes, I just looked at his face. I had a time to look at his face, the smiling face. To begin with, in the Old Testament, the book of Proverbs says, every man, every woman, when they die, when they leave this world, they leave an inheritance to his children's children. Which means, when I die, when you die, we leave something for others in the world. The treasures, the memories, the good things that we have lived through with others. And those are very important that we recall and celebrate. By celebrating his life of good things that we have enjoyed through our love, we are able to tell him to go to the place where the Creator has called him. And it is so important that we do that. And that's why I was looking at him. I, as I look at him, you know, the family member also told us told me that he was a happy-going man and joker and loud to laugh. And, and that's a special gift, that, that smiling you can see in his face. You can talk a lot about, lot about a man who smiles. That's a special gift to not everybody. Some people have. They can laugh, they can make others laugh. And so here is a man that I see him smiling. And... They lived together for 45 years, and it was interesting to know that they got married through Facebook last year. That's great. And he was a, you know, liked to play games online and a golf player. These are only tiny things I come to know, but you know him more than me. And that's why it is so important that we gather, not only to pray for him, but to celebrate his life. And as a family gathered here, all those who join us also turn to the word of God, which says, you know, when our earthly tent, which is this flesh, is destroyed, is over, we have a place from the creator. God takes us. And that's how Jesus came and said, I'll come back and I'll take you so that where I am, there you will also be. 
And so today, part of the service is also to pray for us. As, as all of us are going through grieving, it is a very difficult time because we are not able to gather as we would. We are not able to grieve, hug, you know, together eat, drink, everything. We are not able to do because of the pandemic. And then so that adds our grief more. It's a difficult for us. But we turn to the Lord and we turn to one another for support. Your presence helps the family members to go through this grieving. And so we turn to the Lord and plead for his blessings on all of us and we pray for his soul. And so together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, trusting in God, we all have prayed together for Patrick Fleury. And now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we all take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Patrick again and enjoy his friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. In baptism, Patrick shared in the death and resurrection of Christ. May he be welcomed into the glory of eternal life. And so we sprinkle at this time holy water as the symbol of the entrance of receiving Jesus in the baptism and also entrance into heaven. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother, Patrick Flory, in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him. And now we give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Patrick Flory in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother Patrick forever. My dear friends, every mark of affection and every gesture of friendship that you give to others be a sign of God's peace for you. And so in peace, let's take our brother to the place of his rest. May he rest in peace. Amen.
may his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So the service is ended. If any one of you willing to speak about him or eulogy, um, you're welcome.
Tell me why does it look like in heaven? Is it peaceful? Is it free like they say? Does the sun shine bright forever? Have your fears and your pain gone away? Cause here Tell me what does it look 